this is about declaring array variables and um, arrays are what's called first class objects and that means that you can use um, an array at any point in the language that you could use another object and um, they're actually built in and uh, it turns out they're a subclass of class object so that means that all the methods that are in object you can use on arrays because they're a subclass and um, arrays contain a fixed number of elements which can be zero and all the elements are of the same type now the number of elements is specified when you create the array and this is about declaring the array so we won't discuss um, the number yet and um, the elements which are sometimes also referred to as components of the array and um, they can be either um, a primitive type or a class or, or interface type or even another array type and for arrays of of n components where n is some number or other um, each component can be accessed using an index going from 0 up to n minus 1 and that's important because arrays always start from 0 and that's quite an important fact you have to remember some languages that's not the case but it is in, uh, it is in uh, Java here's some examples of uh, declarations of arrays um, here we've got a variable i a and it's an array of integers and you declare it as being array by putting these um, left and right square brackets after it and this here's a an array of my type and it's an array of an array um, because it's got two pairs of square brackets after it it's an array each of these elements is an array and here in fact uh, MTB is exactly the same thing again because in fact it doesn't matter whether you put the brackets there or there it turns out to be um, some feature of the language that lets you put brackets either side doesn't make any difference and uh, here's a MTC now all these types A, B and C are, turn out to be all exactly the same type because it doesn't matter whether you put the brackets on this side or on this side it makes no difference when you declare the array it also doesn't matter if you have some spaces in here and uh, there's a typo I should say my int f not int f it's supposed to be an interface I suppose um, it doesn't matter if you have spaces there either or there or there it doesn't make any difference now um, the number of brackets you've got here indicates the, what's called the dimension of the array and the maximum number of dimensions that's the maximum number of consecutive bracket pairs like that is 255 now um, I can't think of a valid reason to have more than four <laughs> uh, I can just about see a valid reason for four I could see that actually um, there's something in physics called the Riemann curvature tensor which has got four indices well, you could use it for that I think um, um, each of the indices range, ranges over the number of dimensions so there's a legitimate use there for 4 but I can't think of anything else that needs more than 4 I've certainly never used more than um, 2 or 3 I think so 255 is ample